everyone, Son of Feast here. Welcome back to the Mamba Moments of the Kobe Bryant Challenge. This next mission I'm about to be doing is I'm going to take a look of Hail of Threes from January 7th, 2003. Here's how the regular season is. This is whatever happens to make the scoring drop easier. Having never made more than the five three-pointers in a single game, Kobe went on in an absolute tier against the Seattle of Supersonics draining 12 shots from deep to a set a new NBA record. As you may never just understand it, how much record does he have? He just really made that one so much of his 12 three-pointers and he just made that one so more hard to maintain its run. I never saw how much he has been doing it, but this is like a lot of percentage that he's been doing it. At all costs, because it's what everyone does. For his game, it's a better life than ever. So I'm about to do the second mission, and let's see how well I do with the part of regular season as the Lakers take on against the Seattle Supersonics. Let's get started and get going. Here we go. Folks, uh, one more thing to say is that this is number two, part two of the Mamba Moment. So if you like this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. You'll be sticking on with new notifications and the best way to support for this channel. Enjoy the next challenge of me doing a mama moment. trying to recover the momentum that saw them start the season 8 and 2. That's right Mike and Clark for the Lakers sitting at 14 and 20 on the season. I don't think anyone expected them to remain outside the playoff picture. Not at all. I mean now that they've got Shaquille O'Neal back and healthy, I expect them to build momentum as we approach the All-Star break. On the court for Seattle the 6-11 Montenegrin Trobniak at the 5. Size and shooting at the forwards with Richard Lewis and Vladimir Radmanovich. And the backcourt, the athletic Tesma Mason. And the glove, Gary Payton. For the Lakers, it's Samaki Walker and the big fella inside Shaquille O'Neal. Iron Man, Rick Fox at the three. And the guards, both drafted in 96 and playing their entire careers with the Lakers, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant. And both of these teams coming off of home and away miniseries. The Lakers with an away game and then home game versus the Suns. The Sonics having the same against the Nuggets. Now, here's Fox. Here's Bryant. And Bryant throws it down. Mike Fox is a good passer. Yeah, he had eight assists on Sunday. And Phil Jackson loves his ability to make the entry pass to Shaq. Kobe against Mason. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
in part for those away at home. Two game series both split by the Lakers and Sonics. The Lakers winning at home, and the Sonics got the game on the road. Yeah, you know, considering the Nuggets' record, only 6-24, and 24, I think the Sonics expected to take both of those games, but you got to believe that home loss was a tough one to digest. So I expect they'll be highly motivated tonight. First free throw is good. Well, you know Desmond Mason is an artist, really creative off the court, but on the court, he's creative too, especially around the rim. He's off on the second. And the Lakers in their home gold, and the Sonics in deep green road jerseys and gold trip. The Lakers have two of the top four scorers in the league this season. Kobe ranked second with just over 27 points a game, and Shaquille O'Neal scored at a hair under 27. And Shaq has just now played enough games to qualify with the league leaders as he's worked his way back from that toe surgery. And the Lakers with possession here. The Sonics getting the bucket. Back to Kobe. Outside, Walker. Fox passes to O'Neal, just four to shoot. And here's Bray outside. Offensive rebound. Pass to Fox. From the arc. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Fox. Kobe's got five points so far. Hard not to make that pass. Fox with excellent vision to recognize the open man. Peyton looking around. Here's Mason. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Mason's got his second bucket tonight. Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Outside, Fox. Back to Bryant from downtown. Again, the miss by Kobe. Well, I'll tell you what, the Sonics over the last seven games have really had problems scoring. That's a big reason that they've struggled. And that may be part of the reason they've moved Vladimir Rakovic into the starting lineup. Trying to get a little more shooting on the floor. Love the fact that Gary Payton can create for himself and others. And by the way, he's leading the NBA in assists at 9.3 a game. Oh, we all know the boys that Jack has scoring inside, Mike. He's led the NBA in field goal percentage five years in a row. And again, leading this season. Shooting just over 58% from the field, and he's putting some distance between himself and the runner up, Calvi. Now, here's Walker. Outside for Cooper. Good, and the assist goes to O'Neill. Seven points in the game. And Shaq's a capable playmaker. A few years back, that MVP season, he averaged about four assists a game. Walker was a nice deal. That was tough to watch. He takes him all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. From deep, Bryant buries the long-range jumper. You know, Kobe usually prefers operating in the mid-range and inside. Looks pretty good to me, Mike. Yeah, last season he was second in the league in two-point field goal attempts, but he was outside the top 100 in three-point attempts. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. Now, let's check in with D.A. for more. Well, Kevin, the Lakers' Rick Fox has been incredibly durable. He's played all 82 games the last three straight seasons. That's not an anomaly for him, but he did end up missing a few games to start this season after a scrap with the Kings' Doug Christie in the preseason. Thanks, David. Well, there's certainly some history. Uh, Clark, maybe even some bad blood between the Kings and the Lakers. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and Fox's role on this team is... Being physical, playing tough defensively, banging the glass, but also playing smart basketball. Hopefully it's a lesson learned and we can move on. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Three-pointer goes in for Kobe. What a start. Three triples in the first quarter already. Kobe has already tied his season high for three-point makes with that. Down low, will it go? 
Mason misses. Los Angeles leading by eight. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. Outside, Walker. Extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. 31 points and 12 boards. Another big game for Kobe on Sunday. And for the season, averaging 27 points, 7 assists, almost 8 rebounds, 2 steals, and about a block per game. He is a superstar stat sheet stuffer. And it's set back by O'Neal. They forced at both ends of the floor. O'Neal making an impact defensively. Here's Walker, and they will get the basket in focus as they roll the goaltender. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. Morris checked in for Los Angeles. Hush comes in for Fox. But the Pecos checked in for the Sox. Time call here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. Got to halt this run now. Right here, right now, and maybe devise a new strategy here. Also a chance for his guys to take some deep breaths and renew their defensive focus. Just a little bit of adjustment here, just in case. Alright. Just leave it off from here. Is that good, guys? If not, that's all I can definitely do. I, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna have it right away. Student steady. Alright. There we go. Just a perfect steady right now, just in between. Novice won't, uh, Move around at all. All right, back to action. Just a little bit of the camera adjustment. That's all. It's it the Supersonics with the ball, trailing by ten. Well, the Sonics looking to improve on last season when they suffered a first round exit to the Spurs in the playoffs. Although they did make a series out of it. Yeah, you know, but those Spurs were sent home by the Lakers the following round in a gentleman sweep. So these are not the title contending Sonics of the mid 90s. I'd say they're more than a player away. Just a bit too aggressive there in pursuit of that offensive rebound. What I call an era of commission. You don't like the foul, but you like the hustle. Sonics trail by 10. To the wing right side. Can they get it? The Lakers with the rebound. O'Neal's got six rebounds in the game. And here's Bryant for three. Good for Bryant. His fourth three of this first half. He is on the roll. Well, Kobe was the first Laker out on the court before the game, working on that jump shot. Hard work fades, and that's his MO. Pass to Lewis. To the left wing. Here's Booth. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And so Fisher will bring it up for Los Angeles. Got it! How about this hand from Kobe? Already 5-3. Kobe with the hot hand from outside. But yeah, the Summits might want to play him for the shot. Now here's Anderson. He has yet to score over Fisher. It's caught by Shaq. And Phil Jackson Clark in his fourth season as head coach of the Lakers. So far, so good. Three straight rings, Mike. And speaking of rings, he coached the Bulls over these Seattle Supersonics in the 96 finals and got his sixth ring. Of course, he's now almost doubled that up with a total of 11. Derek Fisher only had eight points in their last option against Phoenix. They really need him to be a little more aggressive and productive in this one. And that one drops for him. And the lefty, Kenny Anderson, he's been dealing with the strained left calf the last few weeks, but still finding a way to get it done. Now, here's Bryant. He's got 19. Ori gets to Kobe. The offensive rebound on the wing, Kobe. On the wing, Fisher. Passes at the rush, stolen by Mason. He gets it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Los Angeles in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. 
Now their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be back with you shortly. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter here in Los Angeles as the defending champion Lakers look to take care of home court against the Supersonics. Celtics trail by 16. Leading with the ball. Scoreless thus far. Here's Patapago and set back by O'Neal. And here's Bryant for three. And there's triple number six for Kobe. How about that, Mike? Kobe has now tied his career high mark in three pointers made with six. Hit that mark before in the 2000 playoffs. But it's done by O'Neal. And Kobe Bryant as good as it gets. Mike, both an all star and all defense. First team all NBA. Last season, sixth in points per game and also top 20 in assists. Probniak, he's checked in for Potapenko. The pass to Rodmanovich. And a check with the rebound. O'Neal's got 11 rebounds in the game. Ryan finds O'Neal. In the corner, George with it. Outside, Kobe. And again, it's the Lake Kobe. Right, this really is Kobe's game in a nutshell. I mean, it's the biggest part of his game, his ability to score. And he looks to be aggressive, hunting his shots. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Mm, they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Lutz hits the jumper. Lewis has got his first basket of the night. He's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. And Rush kicks to Bryant. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. From three, the new career high for Kobe Bryant. If this continues, tell you what, some league records might very well fall. Seattle calls timeout. Well, we don't have to guess what they're going to be talking about. We know what the deal is. Yeah, the offense has been throttled. They have to figure this thing out. That's number seven, looking to get 12. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Left side, lays it up off the glass. And with his six foot four frame, point guard Gary Payton operates inside and out. Now let's check in with David Aldridge, who's got more on Shaq. Hey Kevin, Shaquille O'Neal missed the first 12 games of the season after surgery on his corner lead playing Big Tone, and that surgery took place in September. Some have questioned why he waited three months to have that surgery, but O'Neal said he wanted to get multiple opinions and weigh his options. Kevin? Thanks, DA. Well, I think it was Bill Walton who said, minor surgery is when they do that operation, Mike, on someone else, <laughs> and not you. <laughs> Absolutely right. You can say, in hindsight, do it in June, but nothing wrong with some due diligence. A free throw drops for Kobe. The thing I love the most about Kobe is Will. Bryant plays with a fire that is unmatched. You add that to his talent, you have an incredible basketball player. Here's Trumpian. It's rebounded by O'Neal. Shaq's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. He kicks it to George. Rush the pass to Bryant. Eight threes for number eight. And Kobe Bryant is on fire. Unbelievable display by Kobe Bryant from long distance. And you know, he's something different, but this is special yeah. even for him. Timeout Seattle. And Kobe Bryant, man, is he feeling it tonight. No better feeling than that, partner, when you're this hot and even an intense competitor like him will on occasion let that enjoyment show. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. They need to use this timeout to evaluate how they can slow him down. 
He's lining them up from beyond the arc. That was number eight for Kobe Bryant for three pointers. If he gets a few more, nine, 10, 11, 12, that will be four more left to go. So we're, I'm gonna keep an eye on that one here, try to get a fair three pointers as I can. But don't worry, I'm not hitting a lot of three pointers. I'm just gonna try to keep on passing it in between. But hey, worst case scenario is, you can't judge the win if you know how to play it right. But just do your best at it. Don't take too much time like passing it around if you can get the shots right away and give it to Kobe Bryant. It's a lot of the hard ones to take. Even I do always have time. I always make the shot. Sometimes I miss. But in the meantime, enough of talking about that. Let's get back into this one. All you, Kevin. Just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Kicks to Ramanovic. Pass to Basel. Down to five on the shot clock. Seattle needs to get off the shot. For three. Seattle missing again. That's the way you have to defend him on the perimeter. You can't give him any space. Well, then they pick the right guy to put on him. Kobe, the pass to George. Here's Rush. That ball is nice lead that time from George. George has got three assists now in this one. And my rookie Kareem Rush, taken with the 20th pick that originally belonged to the Sonics, but changed hands many times. And of course, he's landed here with the Lakers. And he's averaging just 13 minutes per game, but recently played a lot more. A chance to contribute to a contender. Tell you what, you look at the rebounding discrepancy in this one, it's obvious they made a concerted effort to dominate the glass. Yeah, they've been the more determined team, and it shows them. Another three for Brady. He's got nine. And well, at this point, time to think about the NBA record for threes in a game. That's 11, except by Dennis Scott. And only four players have ever hit 10 in the game. Kobe approaching some pretty lofty company. against Mason. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. That was just a force right there. And it's going to cost a tough spot in the game for such a miscue. Some changes for the Lakers. Walker's checked in for Shaq. Fox comes in for George. Shaw subbed in for Rush. Here are the Lakers with the ball. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Pass to Shaw. Fox against Lewis, to the inside. The shot by Ori, no good. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong, because more often than not, you'll face stiff defense. Anderson dishes to Mason. To end the run. Good work defensively by Kobe. Tell you what, you can feel their frustration underneath the surface. It's actually palpable with all these misses. They're trying to. Wow! Brian pouring in the threes. Ten of them, count them, ten. Just one triple away from tying the all time record. And these fans know they're seeing something special. Two men remaining in the first half. Anderson outside. And he gets it to go. Anderson. Anderson's got his second basket of the game. And you think back to his days with the Nets, Mike. Kenny Anderson in year three averaged almost 19 points and 10 assists a game. And the last season with the Celtics, that trade caught him by surprise. Here's Bryant for 41 points in the game. But right now, Kobe's turning that grease on the stove up, folks. He is on fire. Keep getting to the ball, please. This is a Mason. To the paint, here's Booth. He's been up and off the pretty assist. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside, Fox. Oh, three left to play here in the half. A three from Bryant. Good! 11! Kobe's got 11 threes. Tying Dennis Scott for the most in an NBA game. 
because I know Kobe, he wants his own record. And the Sonics decide to take a timeout. And Clark, the crowd responded, letting Kobe know they're enjoying the show. I tell you what, Kobe is hunting that shot right now, isn't he? Yeah, you can tell he's feeling it. I'm trying to see how far he can go. Coach wants to discuss things here, a few things to address. And keeping everyone on the same page requires that communication. That was 11. So it seems like that Kobe Bryant's got one more left. And if I get to number three, I would achieve my accomplishment. It's pretty amazing, however, this is. But it's turning great. Just keep it on, let it go. Pretty neat. Not much of anything else to say about this, but um, but that's the way it goes. I mean, you just gotta like keep on like shooting it again if you wanted to like change that one up. Plus, I'll just do some a little bit of a pick and rolls in between, just that, and that's it. Well, first half's almost over. Close out, and then second half is coming on our way. Let's get into it. Back to you. He's checked in for Orton, and Fisher subbed in for Shaw. And the Supersonics also making a change. Adepenko's checked in. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. The Lakers with the ball. And Fisher gets to Walker. Back to Fisher. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And Derek Fisher, the 24th pick in the 1996 draft out of Little Rock. Mike, he has played his entire career with the Lakers. And he's been a pretty reliable long-range marksman, providing that spacing for Kobe and Shaq to operate. Well, Rick Fox isn't a high flyer, but he knows how to use his frame to shield his finishes. 35 seconds left in the first half. To the middle, here's Rod Monovich. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. The dime dropper Anderson, outstanding at finding his open teammates. Toby passes to Manson. Bryant against Mason. And Bryant kicks to Fisher. Six on the shot clock. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Good! 27 points in this quarter. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. Here's Anderson. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for Los Angeles. A sensational night for him continues as he cranks his three-point made total even higher on what has been a historic night for him. And we'll be right back after this. As we return, the sun setting in the west, a lovely view with the sun over the Santa Monica Mountains. And we're back for the second half here in L.A. as these Lakers continue their quest for a fourth consecutive title. Still a long way to go, but every game counts, including this one. Now, here's Peyton. As to Drobniak. Now the pass to Mason. Here's Lewis. Shoots over Fox. Lewis misses. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Ryan passes to Walker. Fox against Lewis. Pass to O'Neill. Five to shoot. Left side, Bryant. And it's Fisher in the corner. Tries again. Out to Kobe. Fires the three. There it is! There it is! The record! 12! 12 threes for Kobe! The most in a single NBA game ever! Wow! Beaten with the ball. Now guarded by Fox, a shot by Peyton, no good. And here's O'Neal, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Walker the pass to Bryant. 
over Mason. Kobe, no luck. Well, I'm not surprised Kobe missed. That shot was way too close to the basket. Yeah, a two-pointer? What's he thinking? Lewis down low. Guarded by Fox. And they pick up two. And Rashard Lewis came straight out of high school in Dallas, but Clark fell to the second round in the 98 draft. Yeah, you know, I felt for him. It was a long wait, Kevin, for him in the green room. But, you know, he fell right into the lap of the Sonics, and teammate Brent Barry saw it right from his rookie season, saying, this kid is going to be special. He was right. I'm on it for three. And the Sonics looking to answer back. A six-foot-ten shooter. Rodmanovich is a unique talent. Outside, Fox. Back to Bryant. Help the bucket, that's 51! Stay aggressive. I don't ever like to see team pump the brakes when they've got the lead. Stay aggressive, attack. A fantastic way to pad your cushion. Absolutely. You know a run is coming. Fisher against Peyton. He kicks it to Mason. Fires from deep. Rejected by Kobe. Great defense that time by Kobe. Elite at that end of the floor, too. And Los Angeles with some changes. Ori comes in for Warren. And Rush is subbed in for Fox. Kicks the shot. Pass to Orr. Seattle grabs the miss. Here is Mason. Five points in the game. And the 12th pick for the Sonics in 2001, Mike Vladimir Radmanovich, now in year two. And the last season, he was top 15 in three-point shooting at 42%. His numbers have dropped off this season. Rocky number 13, Kobe's 13th triple. This is an amazing performance. He is hot as hot can be. And he comes up with the deuce. Peyton's got his second bucket. Well, how about Gary Payton? Silky look, working his way in close to the basket to make sure he got what he wanted in close. Fisher with the bounce pass. O'Neal. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. Oh, Fisher's got four assists in the game. Shaq with 36 points in their last outing. And last season, he came in second in points per game. Peyton drives in. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Challenging the defense on the drive. Peyton does a really good job drawing the whistle on that attempt. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Here he is, Peyton. Shoot two. That's good for Peyton. He's known as one of the greatest and best trash talkers in the game. Peyton's endless energy and high motor is really on another level. And the net goes checked in for Los Angeles. Murray comes in for Derek Fisher. And then for Seattle. But Apenko's checked in for Trobniak. Cisse comes in for Edmonovich. And it's Anderson in for Lewis. And both free throws good for Peyton. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Oh! Dish out some pain with that one. He put some hurt on the rack there. And here are the supersonics now. Left side Anderson. Here's for Topico. It's rebounded by Bryant. Needs to be more aggressive. That kind of a soft effort won't get it done. The dish to Murray. Pass to Medvedenko. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And then has got his first points of the night. Teams love hammering the ball inside and getting easy looks. Kobe against Peyton. Here's Bonapenko. Here's CC. 
set. Rebound by Murray. Here's Rush, defended by Anderson. Outside, Ori. Here's Bryant. Makes it. He's got 58 points. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. As to Votabenko. Here's Cisse. Nothing on the board. Kicks it to miss. A three ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. On the wing, Cook, covered by Peyton. Rush from outside. No good there. So it's the Supersonics now. Here's Anderson. And the rejection by Bryant. Murray with it. And now by Anderson. For three, Kobe. Rebound, Peyton. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it does go in. And it's the Lakers' ball. The pass to Bryant. That three off the mark. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Supersonics. To end the cold streak. Here's Anderson. Rush grabs the miss. And here is Los Angeles now. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Bryant looking it over. Pass to Orton. Back to Bryant. Shot clock at six. It's good. Ori's got his first points of the game. Have to do more than this to stop Ori. I like seeing him work through the contact. And here is Peyton. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And Bryant getting it done for the Laker. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points right back after this break. And we welcome you back to the fourth quarter of play here in Los Angeles as the Lakers look to protect their home court from the visiting Sonics. So it's the Lakers with it. And Mike, the Sonics have to play again tomorrow night. A home game against the Spurs. And with a back-to-back, -back, interesting to see how Coach Nate McMillan manages his players' minutes. If it seems like the outcome has been decided, it might make sense to rest some of those heavy-minute players. The toughness of Gary Payton shows up in so many ways. Shooting for Seattle. Gary Payton. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Never know about Gary Payton. Should take a look on the uh, Wikipedia. It's on every search right now. You can definitely just spot it on right from your tablet, your phone, or your computer. It's easy. Especially if you guys don't know anything about it. For the Yellow Hall of Fame. And both free throws good for Peyton. And here is Los Angeles now. Here is Shaw. Passes it to Murray. Bryant in the corner. Look at He's got And next up for the Lakers, Mike, taking on the Cavaliers on Friday, then Sunday, the Miami Heat. Two teams towards the bottom of the standings, and three days rest in between. A good chance for the Lakers to stack some more wins. I love that possession. Get the ball close to the hoop. A winning play. Pass to Medvedenko. Now, here's Bryant to the left side wing. And there it goes, gets the bucket. Love the selfish approach by Bryant. A willing pass when he sees someone over. Here's Bonapenko. 
back to Peyton, the 11 footer, and that's good for two. And that's 10 points for Gary Peyton. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. It's good. 62, yep, 62 points. Boy, Brian Shaw could have rolled that ball to his teammate. He was so wide open. So it's the Supersonics now. And there's the pass to Peyton. Good on the bucket. Peyton's got 10 points in just the second half. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Well, Clark, the Lakers seem to be back on track to win it. That would give them two in a row. You know, they haven't won three games in a row all season long. They've hit that two-win mark on five different occasions, so you got to figure they'll break through sooner rather than later. It might happen right now. Four on the clock. Yep, that one goes. Madsen's got his first two points of the night. I like seeing Madsen look to score, making himself a weapon on offense. Here's Peyton, as to Potabengo. It's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant's got four rebounds in this game. And for that go, the pass to Manson. That one goes in. Hey, it's going to take a lot more than that to affect Matson's shot. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Supersonics. Inside, here's Potapico. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Kobe passes to Shaw. Bryant, the bounce pass. Here's Matt Bedenko, and the Lakers take down two more. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Forte. Back to Payton. Just five on the clock. Rebound the Lakers. And Bill Jackson calling timeout, letting these Laker fans show some love. A much deserved ovation for Kobe Bryant, Mike, as he'll be subbed out after a job well done. A performance to remember. All in a day's work for Kobe. With the game put away, no need to keep pouring it on. And just maybe leaving himself home in the future to come back and break this record all over again. A chance here for the players to get a much needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor. And so the Lakers win it, going away behind a record set back from Kobe Bryant, who's a new high water mark from beyond the arc. from that distance. This came out of nowhere. I get your dude. And how about this from our stand crew? Before tonight, Kobe Bryant only had four or more three-point makes in Clark just seven games his entire career. Yeah, kudos to our researchers. That's a nice nugget. Pretty surprising that that's the story, the way he shot the ball tonight. But it was certainly a pleasant surprise for these Lakers fans who witnessed history in the making. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin, here with Kobe Bryant. A great performance tonight. How were you feeling? I, just, I felt pretty good. You know, I felt like I got in a pretty good rhythm early in the game. And, uh, you know, just wanted to keep on attack and try to keep us in this game. Well, you certainly did the job tonight, Kobe. Congrats on the win. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew, thanking you for watching. We'll see you later. So that will do for the second mission. Not bad for Kobe Bryant. Didn't really think about 50%, but only 85 it turned out to be right. And just over the point of the bucket it goes. I mean, you can't just get away with that. You always make a great win out of it from everybody. And that's how you do, is to complete each of them. Well-ranged in that.
it's amazing. I could definitely tell you how much it is, but so much to love about that. So that's when you can't just make them feel like how proud of Kobe Bryant is. So I guess I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next mission. This one will be sending you right on to the next line as we will get to you on for this next set. And that means the third mission of the team where it goes to 2003 of Torch Past. So as for me right now, if you'd like to see this more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're going to have tons of more videos coming underway soon. And we will have more NBA game underway soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody. For a while as the Mamba Moments of Kobe Bryant Challenge style. This is Son of Feast, and if you'd like to stick me on to my media, I'm on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to my about page. Anyway, see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.